this is Kaylee with in situ. Today I'll be walking you through the process to calibrate your Aquatrol pH sensor. We recommend calibrating your pH sensor after performing maintenance or according to the unique needs of your specific site. It's a pretty straightforward process and our View Situ Calibration Assistant will walk you through every step of the way. So go ahead and grab the supplies on this table and let's get started. To begin, we'll need to flip the restrictor into calibration mode so that we can use the built-in calibration cup. If you're not using a communication device like a wireless Trollcom, turn the instrument upright to turn on the LCD screen and activate Bluetooth. Now you're ready to open our ViewCT mobile app and connect to the instrument. Tap Calibrations, then choose pH. ViewCT will allow you to choose how many calibration points you want to perform. Today I'll be doing a three-point calibration. ViewCT will display on-screen instructions that can help walk you through the process if you get stuck. You can perform this calibration in any order. I'll start with the first calibration point of pH 4. You'll want to rinse the sensor, first with DI water to remove any residual from deployment. Swirl the water around a little bit and then go ahead and empty it into a waste container. Now we'll need to rinse it a couple times with our standard. Pour a little bit of standard into the restrictor Mix it around and empty it into the waste container. We'll give it one more rinse. And then go ahead and pour calibration solution into the restrictor so we can start our calibration. Tap next in view situ, then wait for the calibration to stabilize. UCT will auto-detect which calibration solution you're using. You can tap the gear icon if you need to enter your standard value manually. Once the calibration has stabilized, tap Accept. Empty the solution out of the restrictor, and we'll move on to our next calibration point. You'll want to rinse it again with a little bit of DI water to remove the calibration solution from our last point. Add some of your next calibration standard into the restrictor. Mix it around. And empty into the waste beaker. Repeat this process one more time. And then add standard into the restrictor and start your calibration in ViewSitu. When the calibration is stabilized, tap Accept. Empty the calibration solution into your waste container, and then rinse the sensor again with DI water. Go ahead and give it a double rinse with our last calibration standard. And then we'll pour the solution into the restrictor so that we can start our calibration. When the calibration has stabilized, tap Accept, and ViewCT will save the calibration. You can empty the last of the calibration solution out of the restrictor, and then view the calibration report in ViewCTU. Check the calibration report to make sure that the values are within the ranges on the screen. If any of the values are outside of range, repeat the calibration. You may need to perform maintenance on your sensor, or you may need to replace your sensor if it's not calibrating properly. 
I'll include a link in this video if you need a refresher on the pH maintenance process. Once you've reviewed the calibration report, you can close it and it's automatically saved in your ViewSitU data files. If you'd like, you can also calibrate ORP. ViewSitU will automatically detect Zobel's standard. If you're going to be storing your SON for a while, fill it about halfway with a little bit of in-situ storage solution and reinstall the end cap. Never store a pH sensor dry or in DI water. When you're ready to deploy, don't forget to flip the restrictor into deployment mode with the holes away from the center of the instrument. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more information, check out the links in the video description to access our manuals, FAQs, and more. And as always, our friendly support team is available 24-7 to assist you at 1-970-498-1500, option 2.